Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about how this keyword can be used to pass as an argument in constructor call. And this is the sixth use of this keyword. All five uses of this keyword I have already explained in previous tutorials. If you want to watch them out, then you can find the link of all those videos in the description of this video. You can go through it. Okay. So let's get started. So let's understand it directly through an example so here i am taking one simple example and that example will clear your all doubts about how this can be passed as an argument in constructor call as well as you will clearly understand why we need to pass this to the constructor all your doubts i will clear in this example so just keep watching till end. okay so let's begin let's create one class here and it's suppose class a that already i have created and let's have one instance variable and it's suppose p and assign value to it and it's suppose 10 okay and inside man method let's create an object of class a okay and suppose goes to new a and there is one another class here and it's suppose class b having one instance variable and it's uh, q okay which is of integer type and let's assign value to it and it's suppose 20 and having one method also and it's suppose add method and let's uh, write here p plus q okay so the job of this method is to perform addition of two numbers okay all right so here in this program we have to perform addition of two numbers right so here we have value of q right but we don't have value of p because the value of p is available in another class that is in a class and to get the value of p from class a we need object of class a right because to access data from any class we need object of that class and using that object we can easily access it right so basically to access value of p from class a we need object of class a so how we can get object of class a and here you are thinking that simply create object of class A inside class B and using that object access the value of P. So this is also valid. You can do like this also. But as per the requirement, I don't want to create new object of class A. I want already created object of class A. That means this already created object I want on that I am currently working. So how we can pass this already created object of class A into class B. So there are two ways using that ways we can pass object from one class to another class. First way is by passing object to method call. That already I have explained in the video of how this can be passed as an argument in method call in detail. I will provide link of this video in the description. You can watch it out. You will clearly understand it. Okay. And another way is by passing object to the constructor call. Now, here also question arises that if we can pass object using method, then why do we need to pass it using constructor, right? It's because when you will start coding on real-time applications, then in some cases, you might have to perform some tasks at the time of object creation before executing any method. Because in Java programming, first object creation takes place and constructor get call and after that method get call on that particular object right so basically code inside constructor execute first before code of any method and hence sometime in a programming we need to perform some task at constructor level clear so let's understand how we can pass object using constructor now see here, when this code will execute, then first statement inside man method will execute. So this statement will execute and class A object will create. And this a default constructor get call. And if we didn't create any constructor inside class A, then compiler will call its own constructor. But here we want our own constructor. So let's create here our own constructor. A. And inside it let's create object of class b and pass here object of class a okay so let's create 
object of class A and pass it here. So here I have create a new object of class A and pass here, right? But I already told that I don't want to create new object of class A. I want already created object of class A on that I am currently working, right? So I am currently working on this object, right? And hence I want to pass this already created object to the constructor. But question comes that how we can pass this object or reference variable to this constructor? Because the scope of this reference variable is limited for this main method only. We cannot use it outside the main method. Because this is a local variable and scope of local variable is limited only for method. Because local variables get destroyed when execution of the method has been completed. So how we can pass this already created object or reference variable to this constructor. So when such type of situation creates then this keyword play a very important role. So simply pass here this keyword because this is also a reference variable that always point or refer to the current class object and a class is our current class right and therefore we can easily pass here this keyword. So if we think internally at the time of execution this statement will execute and a class object will create on heap memory and this reference variable will create on stack memory which will point or refer to the class a object and there this keyword is also available which point or refer to the same current class object that is a class object so basically both reference variables have same object reference and therefore we can easily pass this keyword here clear up to this all right and comment out this line we do not need of it okay so if i run this code then this statement will execute and a class object will create and this a default constructor get call and will invoke this constructor and then control come over here and b class object will create okay and this constructor get call and compiler look matching for this constructor inside class b because this constructor is get call on B class object and if compiler couldn't find matching for this constructor inside class B then compiler will raise an error and hence here inside class B we will need to create constructor that will match to this constructor okay so let's create it and pass here class A type variable because here we have passed this and here this keyword is of class A type, right? And therefore, here we will need to pass class A type variable. Okay. So let's pass it A and suppose obj1. And here also we will need to create class A type variable. And suppose A obj2. Okay. Because here we have passed this keyword. And this is a reference variable which will refer to the class A object. And job of reference variable is to hold a reference or address of particular object, right? So currently, this has hold reference or address of class A object. And to store that reference, we need class A type variable, right? And therefore, here I have created A type variable to hold the reference of class A object. And right here, obj2 equals to obj1. And now if I run this code, then the first statement inside main method will execute. So this statement will execute and a class object will create. And then this constructor get call. Then compiler look matching for this constructor inside class A and will invoke this constructor. Then program control come to this and b class object will create. And then this constructor get call. Then compiler look matching for this constructor inside B class. Okay. And will invoke this constructor. And value that is a reference or address of class A object that this has currently hold. Will set to this variable obj1 and then will assign to this variable obj2. 
सो इन दिस वे वी कैन गेट ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड ऑब्जेक्ट और रेफरेंस ऑफ क्लास ए इंस्टेड ऑफ क्रिएटिंग न्यू ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ क्लास ए ओके एंड वी कैन चेक इट आउट डज वी हैव गॉट दिस सेम ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ क्लास ए और नॉट सो लेट्स प्रिंट ए क्लास ऑब्जेक्ट हियर ओके एंड हियर जस्ट पास ए सो इट विल प्रिंट द रेफरेंस ऑफ ए क्लास ऑब्जेक्ट ओके एंड वी कैन डू सेम हियर ऑल्सो एंड पास हियर ओ बी जे टू एंड इट विल ऑल्सो प्रिंट द रेफरेंस और एड्रेस ऑफ सेम ए क्लास ऑब्जेक्ट ओके सो लेट्स रन द कोड एंड इफ आउटपुट ऑफ दिस एंड आउटपुट ऑफ दिस विल सेम देन इट विल प्रूव दैट वी हैव गॉट ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड ए क्लास ऑब्जेक्ट सो लेट्स चेक इट आउट But before that, let's comment out this line. You can see here both the outputs are same. So finally, we have got object of class A. Now we can easily access value of P using class A object. So let's access it. So here we have got object of class A. Now let's access the value of P. So here we can write obj two. dot p and let's call add method here using b class object because add method is belong to b class and put this inside bracket okay now let's uh, run the code you can see here we got an expected output so if we notice here we have pass here this keyword in constructor call so in this way we can use this keyword to pass as an argument in constructor call clear and remember one thing this keyword only refer or point to the current class object and hence we could easily pass here this keyword so always keep in mind this only refer to the current class object not to an another class object clear that's it i hope you understand how we can use this keyword to pass as an argument in constructor call for now i am going to end this session so keep learning keep growing and thank you so much for watching